The problem with researching smartphones is that they're practically part of our body. They also belong to big cyber tech corporations. Our smartphones are not just ours. Hello, my name is Mirosław Filiczek. I work at the Department of Cultural Studies and Media Studies, and I'm also the head of the Institute of Humanities. My career is rooted in times when I was just a kind of geek or popular culture nerd. As a PhD student, I, I started with researching computer games, online games. And after that, I think that Many of my hobbies and field of uh, interest as, as a private person uh, became my uh, research topic later. For example, not just computer games, but also TV series and uh, the way we use smartphones, my observation, for example, as, as a parent, how kids use technology, even, even piracy, even media piracy became subjects of my research. My latest project is focused on uh, smartphones. Uh, it's about social lives of, uh, of smartphones. It's an ethnographic study of uh, mobile phones in Warsaw. We are interested, me with my team, how people use smartphones, but at the same time, what's very hard to to touch as a, as a subject uh, during uh, your fieldwork, how smartphones use us, how the way someone designed a smartphone uh, or some specific app impacts uh, people's lives even on the most intimate level. One of the insights from our uh, work is that our smartphones are not just ours. Of course, they are also the part of broad social networks. And uh, for example, if my child calls me, I have to answer, okay? So I'm not using this uh, device freely, but what's uh, very important, and I think it also has some political implications because they also belong to big cyber tech corporations, uh, which, very often surveil uh, our, our uses. And I think that the social awareness of this problem is very low. And I think it's one of the things we try to change with our project. During this research, we of course start with uh, interviews and ethnographic observations, but also we experiment with uh, some new methods uh, of research. We try to use software, which, for example, helps us, you know, to record the content of uh, our interviews screens, uh, but in a more natural way than, for example, you know, asking them for showing uh, us it. But at the same time, we explore more like art and science methods. For example, my uh, teammate Mateusz Halawa uh, came up with this idea to um, prepare some interview sessions during which people we interview uh, use not their smartphones, but artistic object, which is smartphone made from the stone. And it uh, starts very different kind of conversation with people when they touch not their very familiar smartphone, but some rather different object with different weight, a little bit different shape, and it talks with something that is rather kind of unconscious, uh, our muscle memory, and uh, it leads us toward new insights. What I appreciate most in academic work, in research work, uh, is the possibility to meet many interesting people, to, you know, 
or be be part of uh, teams with people with very different backgrounds. That's what university is about. My background is, is in uh, cultural studies and film studies, but after my PhD, I made some projects with people with sociological or ethnographic uh, background, and it's like growing another brain or something like that, or another hand, you know, to possess new skills and you can do it, you know, during your whole career. And I find it fascinating. <music>